What is up everybody? It's Justin with SK Greenhouse. I'm actually at my house on the south facing side of the house because I just landscaped this little area right through here along this walkway. We just got this sidewalk poured maybe a couple months ago and it didn't leave much room for landscaping. This is like a two foot bed by maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 feet. And I debated over and over again what I was going to plant in this little small section because, well, I didn't want it to crowd my sidewalk and also I got these big blank spaces here that I wanted to soften up because well from this way looking in that's my yard and I wanted the I wanted this side of the house to have something nice here all right so let's take a closer look at what I chose and why I chose it uh, first up here this is a dwarf Leland Cypress called Shorty and I chose this particular plant because I did want something tall to soften up this wall because it's very blank right here but I also needed something that stayed compact so it didn't overcrowd my sidewalk. Shorty is a again a dwarf Leland Cypress so instead of growing 40 feet tall and 20 feet wide this is going to grow only to about five or six feet and grow a couple feet wide. Also what's nice to note about this is it's dark emerald green foliage that is year round so spring summer winter fall it doesn't matter i said those months out of order but it doesn't matter all the time i'm going to have beautiful green color right here and moving right along the next shrub i planted is uh something proven winners came out with a while back this is called anna's magic ball and this is uh, a type of golden uh, arborvitae that stays extremely compact it only gets about a foot or two tall and wide and it grows in this natural globe shape you never have to prune it and it's such a slow grower I doubt I'll ever have to worry about it spilling over into my walkway and having to prune very often now something I want to note about this shrub is it turns bright gold in the winter time but in the spring and summer when it starts warming up it starts changing colors uh, to this chartreuse uh, green color and I just happen to think it's beautiful now I thought the two shorties on each end would give it a nice symmetry and it'd be easy on the eyes but it's also good when you're landscaping to plant in odd numbers and that's why I chose the three Anna's magic balls there it's a very simple design but I think I might later on add some blue salvia maybe a perennial on each side to kind of just throw a pop of color in there but since we're in the spirit of planting low maintenance shrubs I thought this was a great choice now I could have planted annuals here and that would have been great but what I did with this sidewalk design is leave a little cutout here where I could plant uh, like a grouping of annuals this is pansies I planted these back in the fall uh, it's been a very cold winter but they're still doing pretty good these should start flushing out and looking a lot better now that the temperatures are warming up staying in the 60s and 70s during the day and the nights are hopefully warming up to 40s and 50s and then later on in the spring when it starts getting really hot I'm going to pull all these up and I'll probably plant something like begonias or uh, vinca this is a, an area that gets a half day sun in the morning and shaded in, in the afternoon just like this bed over here um, I forgot to mention this is again the south facing side of the house but in the afternoon we get shade from the oak trees that are on this side of the house so you got to consider that whenever you're planting a space you know how much sun and, and uh, how much shade does an area get so if you at home have a tight garden or a small space hopefully this gave you some inspiration and just to let you know that hey there are some plants out there that can give you beauty in small spaces Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.